Oh, there we go. Hey, Brian. I mean, oh, it's my daughter, Alex. Alex Alexandra Miller <laughs> is here today. And Brian is uh, not here. Brian is a little under the weather, so um, Alexandra has filled in in his place. So uh, she's pretty, she's a lot of things that Brian's not. So um, so I'm happy to have her here today. I'm Keith. I'm Alex. And this is DenverWineGuy.com. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk a little bit about Merlot today. And this is uh, Mary Sellers. It's out of Washington State. So how are you doing? I'm really good. How are yeah, you? Yeah, welcome to the show. Thanks, we thanks. Glad to be here. This ball. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm glad to have you here, honey. I'm glad and, to be here. Um, Brian, we'll see you soon, but for now, we're going to enjoy some good wine. I'm going to enjoy some good wine. She can ask questions or something like that, I guess, if she likes. So we're going to talk about Mary Sellers. Mary Sellers is out of Washington State, Pullman, Washington, and it's got this little, um, you see that? Yeah, so what is that exactly? It's a hand-dipped wax top. So they take these bottles by hand, and they, and they dip them in this big thing of wax and they pull it out and it dries and this is what it turns out to be but here's the label Mary Sellers 2006 Columbia Valley Merlot and I'm going to show you real quick how to open this a lot of people will take this you know the obvious thing is probably you know you people want to um, peel all this off right mm -hmm. yeah because it's looks it's like, like you can't coating. get in it yeah, yeah it's a coating but really the only thing you do is you take your, your corkscrew, pick the, the worm as they call it, and you just insert it right in the top. Right in the top of the bottle. Put it down just like you're opening any 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 bottle. It's just instead of you have nothing to take off. So there's there's no capsule, there's no um, screw cap, and you just put the worm right inside through the wax into the cork, and you take it and you open it. Just like you do a bottle of wine. And pop. Easy Goes the weasel. There you go. And you know, you don't want to really some people will take their their knife on their um, corkscrew and start picking at this, but what happens is a big, big mess. And you have chunks of wax all wax. over the place. And um, it's not pretty. I've seen it I've seen people do it. And back in the day, I used to do the same thing. And then I learned, not that long ago actually, how to open a bottle of wine that has wax on it. You know, but the process is kind of cool because they do take the bottle and just dip it in a big vat of wax, and um, then that's it. So don't be afraid. It's kind of cool. It looks nice and all that. So it's um, anyhow, let's get on with the wine. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're not sure. Alexandra is an artist. She's an artist type. Artist, writer, right? Yep. What do you like to, what, do you, what kind of art? Uh, cartoons. Cartoons? Comics. Yes. Pretty good. Comics? Comics. What kind of comics? Smudge and Frank, my original characters. Smudge and Frank. Yeah? Yep. A guy and a dog? Frank. Yep, a guy oh. and a dog with spiky hair and a lightning bowl ear and been doing them for eight years. Very good. And there's a, I think there's a, a website. Well, it's smudgeandfrank.com. You can go to, I think, DeviantArt. Yep, DeviantArt. Smudgeandfrank at DeviantArt.com. There you go. Smudgeandfrank at DeviantArt.com. You can check out her stuff. Actually, you know, my, on the on the homepage of DenverWineGuy.com, if you scroll down on the right-hand side, you'll see a, um, below the video, you'll see something that says smudgeandfrank.com, and, and actually that takes you to the DeviantArt page. So um, and she has her whole gallery. I don't know how much yep, you have on it. Yeah, I have over 200 pictures, nearly. Oh, crazy. The girl was talented. Let me tell you, she's passionate about her art. Okay. Will she ever be passionate about this? Don't know. Maybe. <laughs> don't know. You're not really sure. Right now, I get to drink air. Yeah, she has a glass of air. Right here. What does that smell like? Uh, fresh. Yeah, fresh, fresh. air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fresh air. So back to the Merlot, you know, this has, it's mainly Merlot. It has about 2% Cab Franc and 2% Cabernet in it. Mm -hmm. um, so it is blended, kind of that Bordeaux blend again. You, you, everybody knows me. I love Bordeaux wines, French wines in general. And like I say, Washington State, 
Washington State winemakers tend to craft their wines out of that that French thing, so they tend to blend it. And um, both of those other two grapes that Cab and Cab Franc are grapes you find in um, France. And you know what? Merlot is a grape you find in France. There's a there's a winery called um, Petrus, and it's 90% or more of Merlot. And that you know Merlot still has that bad rap about. Um, that movie Sideways, which was done in I think Napa, um, about the wine. The guy, the guy, um, the guy in the movie um, didn't like Merlot. And at the end of the movie, he's sitting in a fast food burger joint, drinking Merlot. And it's so funny. And I don't like Merlot, but at the end of the movie, he's drinking it. So, so anyhow, so here we go. Um, You've got a little bit of a caramel thing going on, a little bit of a chocolate, kind of a dustiness on the nose. Good so far. I never had this wine. Um, Dan and Patrick Mary are the owners. Patrick's the winemaker out of Pullman, Washington. Again, Pullman, Washington being about south, um, very eastern part of Washington. Again, Washington State University area, um, Cougars. And um, so they pull all their juice from Columbia Valley, which is central southern Washington State. So I'm going to taste this. Alexandra, how old are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? I'm 16. 16. I'm a sophomore for Green Mountain High School. We're on spring break right now. Mm. Thank you very much. And what do we have on TV today? The Rockies. Opening day, Major League Baseball. Versus Arizona. Yay! We don't care how the teams do, you know. We just <laughs> like going to the games, right? Exactly. It's like all you. It's all It's all good times, good people watching, get out and... Sit in the sun or go Get a good hot dog. Are we going to a game this year? Yes. Come on. I want to That's go right. to a game. We're going to, we're going to three games. <laughs> so in the mouth, it's showing a little bit of um, green pepper thing going. A little bit of bell pepper, just a touch. Um, has a li little cherry pit thing going on. I get a little cherry mm -hmm. pit. Um, you know, when you get a cherry and you have that pit in your mouth, and you, it's got a little pit thing going on. It's a good thing. Um, really good structure. not your grandma's Merlot. Um, really big in the mouth. Needs um, food. Needs um, a big burger with like barbecue sauce on it and cheese. I and mean, probably some bacon would be good. Because it's carrying a fair amount of acidity in the back. Halfway back in the, on my palate. Um, you know, so it's really, really solid. Enjoying it. And it's um, about $30 online. And you can go to um, www.marysellers, M-E-R-R-Y, sellers.com. I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give this, um, do you want to know what I'm going to rate it? Yes, I would like to know. So one to a hundred scale. Okay. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say 90, 90 points, maybe a plus on there. Um, I think it's going to, it's, it's, we just opened it, like you, as you saw me do, and it's really young, um, needs a little bit more time in the glass. But it's um, not your typical Merlot, like I said. It's, uh, it shows a lot of structure. And nice, that base of acidity is definitely there. So when you mash it up with your food, remember, you want something that has some acid in it. So you balance it out so the acidity in both the food and the wine goes away. So, but for now. Highly recommend it. www.marysellers.com. Go online, buy it. Mary Sellers Merlot 2006. And I think that's it for today. All right. Alexandra, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. That's my girl. <laughs> I'm Keith. I'm Alex. And you've been watching DenverWineGuy.com. Thanks, and we'll see you again. <laughs>